I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me here to have this great discussion. I'm excited that we get to talk with Carrie and Miss McQuistian. And you're live on the Velder BB Show on KYBS Y99 from Dallas, Texas. Well, we're going to talk about, um, Carrie, can I start with you? Because you're a master butcher, and you get to introduce the farm of the year for me. I, I thank you. Um, yes, I am a master butcher, so it's an honor for me to work with America's Pig Farmer and announce Leslie McQuistian as America's Pig Farmer of the Year. Leslie, thank you so much for bearing that title. I am excited. I'm honored and I feel privileged to be able to tell pig farming story, to tell my story and those of other pig farmers around America. We get to talk about how we are committed to responsibly and sustainably raising pigs so that consumers can feel confident about the products that they purchase. Well, you got a couple of stories wrapped in there. You are a female foreman. That makes you, uh, uh, I think, special. I think it is. I'm sorry. No, you're special. It is, it is a <laughs> unique story. Um, it's really exciting to be a woman in agriculture and a woman in pig farming and leadership. Of the 70 members of my team, I have nine leaders and six of them are female. So it's, we are caretakers and nurturers at our heart. That really works well into the food, water, air, and care that we're providing for pigs every day. And we want to make sure that we're doing what's right for them. So when we also take care of our employees, that part of being caretaker and nurturer comes into place. We want to continue our commitments in both of those arenas. Carrie, you know, you're, you have your own accolades. You're a pioneering master butcher. Yes, ma'am. That's no small feat itself. And I'm sure your industry is maybe a little bit out of balance. And when I say out of balance, probably more males than females. So that's a big, ac high accolade for you. Um, yes, it, it definitely, it, there definitely are more men, and, and thank you for that. Um, but what I'm really excited about is that there are more women and men, you know, wanting to get back into the butchery trade. We, we saw that that skill started to move away, and, and now it's, it, it's kind of back. It's, it's hot, you know, the, the, the younger generation now wants to get back into it, and I'm just happy that, you know, I have the tradition and the history that I can share with them now to teach them how to be craftsmen and, and cut the product that America's pig farmers are producing and making sure it's done correctly because we wouldn't want, you know, to be responsible for not having a good experience because we cut it wrong. Well, also, too, uh, this is na a national month that we're uh, celebrating. October mm -hmm. is National Pork Month. Right. Yep. It is. What does that, what does that mean? Do we just want to know more about pork, eat more pork? Probably all of the above. I bet you're going to see some promotions at your local grocery stores, so there'll probably be some pork on sale. So make sure you look for that. And, you know, it's just a way to, you know, tell, you know, pork's message. And, you know, the, the big news is that we can cook pork to 145 degrees now, which is great, so that we don't have to have that, you know, overcooked pork chop, so we can have that juicy pork chop. And then that way we're making sure that, that we honor all the work that Leslie and her team does. Leslie, you know, how are uh, pigs raised today with the focus on food safety, animal care, and the environment? How do you, you wrap that up in one package and produce a good product? We involve our veterinarians and nutritionists, so experts in the field of those particular departments. We are working to do what's right, and so we involve them on a regular basis 
Also the food, water, air, and care of animals is our priority number one. We make sure the environment is right for the piglets both inside and we want to look at the environment outside of the barn so that we continue being sustainable in producing pigs and raising them so that consumers can feel confident about the safety of the product that they're eating. Carrie, you're a butcher, so what Leslie's saying, that should be across the board for all animals, right? Because my dietitian doesn't want to know what I eat. She wants to know the animal products I eat, what they eat. So food has gone a long way where people are looking at from that aspect. Yes, and, and all, all meat in the United States is inspected and paid for by Americans' tax dollars. So any type of meat, we know that it's been inspected and is safe for wholesomeness and, and that it's just a safe, good product. So, you know, that has been covered. You know, then we want, you know, folks like Leslie to make sure, you know, that the animals have nice care so everybody can rest assured no matter what. You know, and, 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 and protein now is, is, you know, we don't have to fear the fat anymore. So, you know, good healthy foods, fat, and protein, you know, are part of a healthy diet. I always like to say all foods fit. And, you know, sometimes we want to have that really big chop, but remember that, you know, a portion size is basically the palm of your hand. So, you know, we want to make sure that we have good, healthy, nutritious protein in our diet. All right. I want to thank you, Leslie McQuiston. And Carrie, you are the author of the James Beard nominated book, The Art of Beef Cutting. Can you tell me where my audience can go online and find out more about National Pork Month, about pork itself, about Leslie? Where can we go? Well, if you want to follow Leslie's story, go to americaspigfarmer.com. Ladies, thank you so very much, and thank you for making me being very proud to spell my name, W-O-M-A-N. You're doing a good job. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.